All right, we're going to take you out now to NRG. This is going to be such a busy week there. You're about to start hearing and seeing a lot of Houston Texans pride around town. The team Colts in Indianapolis uh, earning a spot in postseason. KPRC2 was there for the win. Now, fresh off the field, just after the win, our photojournalist Alex Moreno captured the emotion, but it didn't stop there. Proud of the determination, man. You talk about determination, mm. pure grit. Mm. Everybody fight to their last play. Yeah. That's what it's about, man. And we punched our ticket. Yeah. All right, what a scene last night inside of that Texans locker room. And joining me to discuss some more right now, sports director Randy McElvoy. Good morning, Randy. Good morning. I mean, does that not make you want to run through a brick wall? <laughs> right. Like uh, Where's the door? I got to kick it down. <laughs> Yeah, that Gets was cool. Guys ready to play every single week. Super cool. So, and you were at Lucas Oil Stadium for the win. So, tell us what what yeah. was it like? What was the reaction from fans like? Well, I mean, the, first off, the, the uh, Texans fan base travels very well, Haley. Over the years, that's that's been a really cool thing to see. Even in the down years, they travel more so now when they're starting. They're winning now, double digit wins with ten. But I mean, you've seen some of the video right there. Just the the way. This group, the, the tight-knit group that this is in the locker room is is contagious throughout the fan base. D'Amico, when he was hired, a former player himself, uh, player, uh, fans loved him as a player. They love him now as a coach, the, 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 you know, what he brings out of these players to get them ready to play each and every Sunday. But the fans there at, at, at Indy were on cloud nine. After the game, the, the players were making their way off the field. A lot of the, a lot of the fans lined. Uh, the the exit where the tunnel is there at Lucas Oil Stadium, uh, high fiving and they're throwing up uh, souvenirs and all kinds of stuff for the fans to keep. Uh, it was a lot of fun to see, and then it, it, it all worked out. They got the playoff spot Saturday night, and then they got the gift from the Tennessee Titans of all people, <laughs> all teams yesterday, uh, when they beat Jacksonville to win the division. So not only you're in the postseason, Haley. But you've got a home game now this weekend to start off your playoff run. Super cool. I mean, yeah, and, and D'Amico Ryan is so, so young. And as you're mentioning, a former player, I mean, is, is it him that's making such a big difference? Like, he just gets so much respect from the players? Yeah, I mean, I think it, when you look at any sport, uh, whoever your head coach and baseball, your manager, I mean, I think it goes a long way personally when these players uh, – play for a coach that has been through what they go through you know what i mean yeah. and D'Amico has, has done that he had a great career many of those years spent right here in houston um so yeah they kind of feed off that energy there's a respect level uh for sure for D'Amico ryan's because uh he's been in the trenches he's put in the work he, he doesn't ask them to do anything that he hasn't done before as a player they know that and you know with that comes the ultimate respect and I mean, he treats these guys like men, uh, you know, they're the players on his football team, but he cares about them off the field as well. I mean, that's why when the McNairs, uh, mm -hmm. Cal and Hannah McNair made this hire, uh, it was for obviously football reasons, but they know what D'Amico Ryan is all about. And, what he brings uh, he with him. built a great staff uh, yeah. in place as well. And. I mean, you see right there him, the, the command he has in, in those. Uh, it's always better when you win. It was, uh, winning oh, yeah. are a lot better than <laughs> losing ones. But uh, there's, there's just so much respect across the board. And they want to suit up and play for this guy. And, and, you know, it makes us that watch it want to suit up and play, although I wouldn't do very well if I did that. Uh, but, uh, uh, he, he's a contagious personality and sure. uh, getting the results. I mean, it, the, the way this thing has unfolded, just amazing. Nobody predicted a playoff spot, and uh, nobody certainly predicted double-digit wins. Yeah, I, I would emphasize nobody was predicting that, so that's what makes this really exciting. Can you remind us, like, when was the yeah. last time that we 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 saw the Texans in a postseason game? Like, what yeah. what, what happened? What all went right this season to get us here? 
Well, just the belief. I mean, there's no doubt. Every football team deals with injuries. Uh, there's no question about that. That's, yeah. that's what the NFL is. It's a physical sport. you got to learn how to deal with injuries. Texans have certainly had their share of injuries this year, uh, just like all these other teams. But it's like D'Amico says, okay, we got an injury. You can't do anything about it. So he always says, who's going to step up? I mean, all these guys are paid a lot of money to play a game they love, you know. Mm -hmm. They've got to be able to step up. It's that next man up mentality. And, uh, you know, sure, they've they've uh, lost a couple of games they shouldn't have lost. I mean, just imagine if they would have beaten Carolina. Carolina's terrible. Well, they lost to Carolina. They lost uh, uh, against the Atlanta Falcons. Decent team, not great team. So that's two more wins they would have had. Uh, so despite the fact they were without C.J. Stroud for two games, most recently, as everybody knows, with the concussion, uh, they were able to to get you know come out of that. I think they were one one while he was out, um, and they've lost some other key players during the season. But that, I think that's what has gotten them here. They've they've overcome. They have depth on this roster, which is something they haven't had over the last several years during these these brutal seasons we've been dealing with. But they've got depth now at positions. And he just challenges the guy and guys, and he says, "Okay, it's your turn. You got to deliver. Yeah. We got to get results from you." And That's so, what a, a winning football team is all about. And we know that he's going to be talking to the media today at noon. Any idea what yeah. what we can expect to hear from him? Uh, it'll be your typical coach speak. Uh, happy to be here. You're excited. Yeah, you, know, you can almost predict what's going to come out of D'Amico's mouth or any coach in that matter. Uh, you know, th this is where the preparations begin. They just found out that. You know, yesterday that when they clinched the division that locked up who they would play so um, they may have gotten a little bit of a head start my, my guess is they didn't didn't uh, work yesterday but they're at it today I guarantee you um, because now it's a short week because they play Saturday at 3 30 so you got to get after it and now we won't hear from players today only D'Amico we'll hear from players starting tomorrow and uh, for a couple of days and then end of the week they'll shut that down um, as well and uh, it'll be go time Saturday. We're fired yeah. up, 3.30 Saturday. The game is on NBC, and we were waiting because yeah. we knew NBC had a couple of time slots for games this weekend, and we were at work last night before Sports Sunday saying, okay, are they going to get one of these NBC slots? Fingers crossed. And, uh, hey, we got it. So we're excited uh, that it'll unfold. Uh, the D'Amico Ryan's playoff era will uh, begin on KPRC, too. Heck yeah, and Randy, I'm promising the producer that I'm going to wrap right now, but if we do win on Saturday, what happens after that? Well, they don't know yet. That's uh, the way the playoffs work. It's about seeding, so uh, they'll look at the bracket, and if they win, and it depends who wins the other games in their brackets and who, how the seeding works, the, the lower seeds will be a host team, so the Texans will you know, maybe need a little upset to avoid having to go to a Kansas City or maybe a Buffalo or a Baltimore. Baltimore's the number one seed. So it's wait and see. First things first, you got to win and then uh, move on to the next one. You just take them one at a time. It's a cliche, but that's yeah. definitely how it works yeah. in the playoffs. You got to win first. All right, Randy McAvoy, thank you for getting up early and giving us the rundown on that. We appreciate it. And of course, you, got it. you can it. stream D'Amico Ryan's press conference at noon on clicktohouston.com. And just before that press conference, you can stream Inside the Texans airing right here at 11 a.m. Our sports team is joined by Click to Houston's NFL contributor, Aaron Wilson. They're breaking down what our team needs to defeat the Browns, and that's only on KPRC2 Plus, the live stream.